investigate the comic. All right. Batman Arkham Knight. <clears throat> uh, new game, new story plus, you know, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, we are at Ace Chemicals, and this is when you find out that you're dealing with a fuck ton of dudes throughout the entire course of this game. Uh, and even just in this area, you deal with a fuck ton of dudes. Especially a ton of tanks. Uh, <coughs> So, Ace Chemicals took long enough where I had split into basically two videos. Um, I probably could have gotten into one, but as it was, this this whole sequence was going to be like a 25 minute video. And being that the second half basically has the... Um, the helicopter boss battle, I guess you can call it. Um, I felt the need to include that as its own video in case people are specifically trying to find that part. Um, so, when you come into this area, um, you want to take out uh, the other three guys silently and leave the two guys that are talking by the console uh, last. Um. <coughs> Since one thing they changed is that um, you can't do technically a silent uh, double silent takedown. Um, you can, you can't. Um, it's weird. I there's a point later on where I believe I think I have it from this recording where I do a double. It's supposed to be a silent takedown, but there's like a third guy with them, so it really wasn't. But you can get a dual fear takedown, which is essentially the same thing. But I believe if there's still a lot of guys. Uh, it makes a lot more noise than just like a double takedown normally would. <coughs> but, um... I've managed to intercept some radio traffic between Scarecrow and this Arkham Knight. Once you deal with all of them, you have this, um... This sequence where you need to figure out where these five, uh... Ace Chemical workers are being kept. Uh, two of them are alive and three of them are dead. Uh, the first one I go to, he's dead, so you don't need to worry about him. Um, the second guy that I go to, he's alive, and then... The last three are inside Ace Chemicals themselves, or itself, I mean. <clears throat> um, you want to avoid that platform for right now, since it has a ton of enemies, and after you deal with them, four ninjas show up, and uh, they suck. They, they suck worse than they did in Origins. Um, And that's me getting the achievement for taking out 20 guys and fear takedowns. Um, and uh, one new thing they added with the the combat areas, um, you notice that guy was glowing green or uh, green, glowing blue. Um, in I think it's pretty much every predator combat area there's some kind of an environmental takedown um, where it's a light fixture or it's a electrical box that you shove the guy's head into and that electrocutes him um, which I found out towards the end of my first playthrough the 
the heavy brute dudes, you can take them out with those environmental takedowns, which makes some of the combat areas later on really easy to deal with when you can get one of those like big ass brutes next to like the electrical box and you just shove his head right into it and take him out so you don't need to worry about him like fucking you up while you're trying to deal with the the smaller guys in the Sir, rooms. But um yeah the, the the ninjas are annoying just because they <clears throat> They have weird combat where sometimes they go into an attack where you can you can counter it, but other times they just do an attack where you you it doesn't seem like you can counter and you have to like jump out of the way of them because um, otherwise they do like a like a three hit combo on you or some shit and I don't know it's it's weird it they weren't that bad in Origins but they feel not, not necessarily worse but they're not as they made them less less enjoyable to deal with than they were in Origins at least um, but it might just be because it's like two different studios who are doing them so um, so this part you can immediately just switch to the Batmobile and take out these guys <coughs> um, and this is one of the the cooler environmental takedowns that if you have the Batmobile with you some of these areas you can uh, Shoruk and a guy up into the air and then the Batmobile's uh, cannon will take him out and it's a pretty it, it's one of the cooler environmental takedowns when you have it um, near the Batmobile and uh, that was an example of um, just like with this part where you can skip it with B uh, when you save like some of those workers you can hit B and just skip through their uh, their dialogue too um, there's some points here like this one you can't skip it like I'm mashing B at this point but it's not skipping through so I feel like some of those things are kinda hiding maybe a loading screen I'm not very sure um, and <laughs> this is me nearly flipping the goddamn Batmobile but uh, Man's the land that wheels down, and so you, when you come back in here after saving that worker, uh, you kind of want to do this part now, just so you're not work dealing with it later. <clears throat> but these are the ninjas, and fuck them. Um, see that that that's the part that's more annoying is that. They will just like dodge around your attack. Um, they're not countering you; they're just like dodging you. It's it's really annoying. Um, and this is me punching air because you know it's not a Batman game for me if I'm not fucking up the combat at some point. Um, but. Like I said, getting the multi-ground takedown makes a lot of these areas a lot easier to deal with than this is me not going to the console and jumping over and, you know, doing stupid shit. So... <clears throat> so, after you deal with those guys, you need to move this uh, bridge thing so you can jump to the other side and uh, you're going to be using this again later when you need to get into like the main part of Ace Chemicals um. <coughs> Um, 
Um, I don't know if you need to do the afterburner for that section, but I do it anyway just to be sure I actually make it over. So, when you come into this area with all these tanks, you want to build up your, your special missile attack here so that you have it when you come back outside later and you have a couple more tanks to deal with and then the helicopter. Um, you want to deal with the tanks when you come back out here and then save all the rockets for the, uh, the helicopter. I wasted there like a complete jackass and I was kind of pissed at myself when I did that because I realized that I still had the, the helicopter later on to deal with. So you should be able to get two bars just from that first area and then the next round of tanks when you come back out later should give you the other two so you have four bars and you can just unload all the rockets on the, the drone helicopter and it, I think it will probably take it out in like the quickest time ever um but I, when I get to that part with the Hellcow, I actually ended up getting pretty lucky in that it wasn't flying back and forth like an asshole like it was the first time I fought it. That's two dead workers. Um, it actually stayed in like one place for most of the battle. So. <coughs> your feelings for him cloud your judgment. You think I want him and basically this whole last sequence um you need to use the Batmobile to uh pull some of these uh pipes out so that you can progress through to the where the elevator is. Uh it's pretty simple stuff. So, I'll let the rest of the stuff play out, and I'll see you in the second half of Ace Chemicals. That's three dead now. These animals are going to pay. We'll stop them. We always do, right? This is as high as the elevator will go. 